Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are in our base and we have uh, added a bunch of robo ports in the last episode. So let's turn this off. And I think we really wanted to work on nuclear power in this one. So that is what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, let's see, we need to get our shopping list of miscellaneous items to put in um, where it needs to go. I really need to get better power armor made, but we are working on the modules uh, at present, so we don't have them just yet. Let's go ahead and put away these um, things like yellow belts until we actually need them. I think I'm going to auto trash certain things like these and these and yes yellow inserters as well oh dear i've forgotten to turn these to z oh excuse me come on come on go back to zero there we are there we are nice all right uh we also need to replace the buffer chests on these guys uh we'll do that in just a moment um let's see stone bricks why why do i have stone bricks that's like weird uh iron i don't want more than 100 please i think what else do I think? I think a lot of things. Um, do I want to have this? I just, well, I'll just give this away. That'll be okay. And people keep complaining about the raw fish. I don't get that. I don't understand why it bothers people. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep them because they're my fish friends and I fished them up fair and square. Um, and they have nothing to say about it. <laughs> they really have nothing to say about it. So they're, they're here. They're fine. Um, let's put in, I don't know if I should put the signals away as well. Yeah, might as well. And some of those things. So, because we're going to need to carry a lot of stuff to build the, the nuclear bits, uh, and things. So there we are. Let's go to personal robot. No efficiency modules. Yes. Okay. That is what we want. Great. So these guys, okay. Before we do the nuclear power, let's deal with the buffer chests. Uh, because these are quite important. We need to put these all as buffer chests. Okay. Because these are going to function as recyclers. So logistics requests, we want to request um, like 200 of these. Okay. And then the same with the belts. We're going to request yellow belts, maybe a thousand of those. One, one, two, three. There we go. And then these guys request all of these. We want to request more than the limit of the chest is. That's very important to note. So 200 of those and 200 of these. I think I didn't, I must not have done the circuit thingy over here. Um, what is this doing? Okay. If it's greater than 25, these are set to what? If it's less than 50. Okay. So I guess I have to connect all these guys up and say if red belt less than 50 then you can work meaning produce more uh, and then we'll take this off so right now it has too many at the moment we'll do also connections on these other two and we'll just set them up in just a second now then this one oh yes let's do this first i think with these if it's less than what is it two thousand Oh, that's 20,000. Hello. All right. Cancel this and we'll request these at 2,000. Uh, so that when we start making blue belts, we can actually lower that number and it'll be okay. Now then, we'll do the red splitters if it's less than 50. Okay. Set. Change this to that. Request these guys at 200. Okay, good. Now then, modules are done. We could, uh, yeah, we could do power armor mark two. You know what? We'll research it and then we'll, we'll get to the Covarex process eventually. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh, look at this. We have issues. What is going on here? Wow. We're out of two lanes of this stuff. That's most interesting. Um, yep, we're going to need more trains, possibly. We are really starting to work the factory now. We, we're going to see some shortages, no doubt, uh, with this. 
but we do not want to run short on power, which is why I'm really concerned about these numbers. It's about maybe 75%. We're using quite a lot. Look at this jump in whatever we're using. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is that's turning on and off, but it is quite unhappy. So, wow, this is okay. Now we're getting finally more stuff here, but, uh, yeah, I should really get all this stuff shoved over to one side, uh, to be for the first thing there. That's the output priority to the right. There we go. There we are. Okay. So then we should have all of this kind of, um, going downward down the line. Power armor is done. Good. Um, logistics slots, worker robot speed. Those are also extremely tasty things. This thing's cost, you know what? It costs 1500. It's fine. We will research it uh, and we'll get it right now. Okay. we got the buff buffer chest done. That is great. Let's look at our blueprint for nuclear power. That's an important thing. So we can have a shopping list for ourselves. So nuclear power, we're going to go ahead and do another four um, and this is with belts here. That's what we're going to do. So we need 160 heat pipes, 144, um, other thing you would use. Let's see. Let's go shopping. 160 heat pipes. So let's go and get these guys. We'll get extras. One, two, three. That's 150 and extra. Okay. 25. Actually, we'll take the whole stack. Now then, the other thing we needed is, let's see, 144 pipes. Do I have those on me? No. We have only 54. So we'll go and grab some straight pipes, which are going to be down here. There we go. Okay, 154. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take, actually, we'll take two stacks and then just leave the other one. Okay, look at our shopping list again. 80 of these... Uh, uh, engine thingamajingies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 80. Good. All right. And then we need 48 heat exchangers and four nuclear plants. Okay. 48 of these. Wow. Okay. 50. Sounds good. Uh, and actually we can take two out of that one. Oopsies. One, two. So then we'll go there. Okay. 48. Good. And then we'll take our four nuclear plants. There's four. Okay, cool. We want to keep this at an exact number so that we don't overproduce this stuff. I think that we should have everything. We have plenty of power poles on us. Um, we don't have the blue undergrounds, but we can, we can uh, fudge that. That'll be fine. Let's get some more red splitters because I see that we do not have quite enough of those. Uh, and I think we're going to be good. Okay, let's walk. Let's go. Oh, wow. That stone amount is not, not enough. Got to fix that. Okay. There's our fast, fast speed. Let's go walk. There we are. Okay. So let's go back to there. Oops. I wanted to do this. Okay. Better. Now then we have, uh, this stuff and the best way that I have found to align these things, the easiest way is just to turn the entire thing around and shove it in the other direction. Uh, oh, we do have this thing here. Do we have landfill? We have some, I think there it is 86. Okay. There we are. We really have to get rid of this. Anything else? No, no, no. Okay. There we are. Um, and I think, I don't know how long it's going to be, but we'll see. All right. First of all, let's just get rid of these guys. Whoa. Okay. We have too much stuff in the inventory. Let's get rid of these. Okay. All right. And we have way too much stuff. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in our area here and let's grab this off the ground. Okay. Inventory full again. Okay. Here we go. Um, we're just going to grab this thing and align it like this and put it right adjacent to the other, uh, construction. So we'll put that right here. That's aligned. Yeah. It looks right to me. 
And then we'll take out the blue belts here. Okay, and then we'll try to figure out how to put the yellows in there. And I also forgot that we need to make some pumps. We uh, don't have enough raw materials for that. Oh my god, all the... Wow. What the heck happened with all these power poles? Did I move the blueprint or something when I... I can't be right. This is just crazy power pole days. This is really odd. This looks really strange. It's like, why? Why so many power poles? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a filtered deconstruction planner. Um, I just want to clear this first and then we'll use just power poles and I'm going to get them in a line like this. That'll make it a little bit easier to get the whole lines off of these. It's like really odd why this is gone strange like this. I don't know what the heck I did. I saw another error on the, on the other thing, but I just, I don't know why it was really strange. I must have just messed up the placement or accidentally clicked it or something. Anyway, it'll be fine. Uh, let's take this power pole and connect this up to these power poles here. Now we do need to get these guys. Wow. Yeah. All the, oh dear. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to delete the whole thing. I'm going to delete the entire thing. And hopefully this will get better somehow. Because all I don't want to deal with figuring out all the undergrounds. That's just going to be a mess and a half. Okay, that's fine. There we go. It's coming up. And now I have tons of wood. Oh my gosh. Auto trash the wood. That's for sure. Go away. No wood. No wood allowed. I was considering and trying to stop that, but there's just too many wood entries. Too many, um, too many tree entries in the, um, uh, in the thing. So I didn't want to deal with it. Okay. Now then let's just go back. Okay. Get rid of this as well. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Let's try that again. That was very, very odd. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Maybe I just moved the mouse or I don't know, but yeah, this doesn't have double double stuff. So maybe I just moved it or something the wrong way. I don't know. It should be fixed now. We'll just take off these uh, extra undergroundies for now. I just go along with the uh, yellows and reds. Just walk to the left a bit. There we go. Yeah, no extra power poles this time either. Okay, this is great. Fantastic. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, and these are in very excellent shape for just moving out. We may not have enough uh, undergrounds, uh, underground pipes, underflowies, uh, but that's okay. We will fix that shortly. Okay, let's copy this. Put it here. Good. Since those are so nice, uh, nicely aligned. Let's go and get some more pipes and then we can deal with these things. Let's go and put these guys. This actually can stay there and we'll go back to the factory. And of course our happy little robots are going to take this stuff out of our inventory and redistribute it into the storage chest. Okay. Look at our science is not holding up anymore. Is it? No, no. The Covarex enrichment process has drained the labs of all the stuff, but that's okay. It's fine. So these are missing. What are they missing? Green? Wow. They're missing green science. That's interesting. Okay. Where is the green science? It's over here. It says it's full. It's just, uh, oh, electricity. Okay. Yep. We now have issues. We now have major issues. Thank goodness we're building this stuff right now. Um, oh, you know why? Because half the things have shut down 
because I <laughs> I took too long. That's the issue. Right, it's going to be fine. Let's just quickly get some underground pipes. There they are. Okay, it will be good. I need to make these... Um, these guys, offshore pumps. Okay, th thanks, thanks, bots. I don't have time. Let's go, let's go, go, go. Run, run, run. Yeah, this is the issue here, is that I have turned off the... Um, yeah, the fuel to two of the reactors, I think. Is that the issue? Nope, they still have six fuel. So I'm not sure. I Maybe we just are using much more power. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, maybe we're just using a lot of power. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, but yeah, we need to get this fixed. Maybe. Oh, that's what it is. Maybe the temperature just dropped because it's trying to evenly spread it along all the entire way over. Oh, and I need those stupid undergrounds too. <laughs> oh, I need the, uh, the yellow undergrounds. Whoopsies. Okay. Let's just walk slowly. That's fine. And I need to bring up my inventory and not auto trash these guys. So keep those. We'll have several. It's fine. And now we'll go back. Oh gosh. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I was trying to hit that with my, uh, my ring finger. There we are. Okay. That's what the issue is. All right. So basically this is a very dangerous way to do things. You should warm up these guys before you connect them with the other stuff. That is the lesson we have learned today. Uh, yeah. So Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. Oopsies. I hate when I accidentally uh, switch those two things around. Don't mean to. There we go. And what I could have done is actually put in some of these fuel things into these uh, reactors. Anyway, because I had plenty in my inventory. So, all right. So that's a lesson learned for next time. Don't connect these guys up to any of these heat pipes unless you've already started the reactors. Now then, uh, let's get some fluid into these uh, things. Go and make one, two, three, four, two, three, four of these guys. Wow. I don't even have any green circuits. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Are you making them? There we are. There they go. One, two, three, oopsies, and four. Good. And these are already heated up. Good, good, good. Excellent. Of course, when we have when we add the next four, it shouldn't be as big of a deal because there'll be more heat to go around. But yeah, that was kind of scary just for a minute. And now we are at less than 50% usage, which is good. However, I expect we will be using quite a bit more very shortly as we are going to add beacons and stuff um, to be going along here. Is this almost done? It looks almost done. Please finish soon. How is this doing? Are we... Yeah, look at this. We're charging through these guys um, and getting those processed very quickly. We have, um, yep, this stuff is uh, going along just fine. And we have, still have 57 uranium in there. So that's just fine. And these guys are still processing fuel. So that's a good thing. Okay, actually, we're almost done with this and we can start the enrichment process very shortly. Okay. I want to do, what do we want to do? Worker robot. Oh, cargo size two. That is so tasty. Yeah. Let's get that. That's good. Now then, uh, let's get Cobra X. Woohoo. Boom. This is good stuff. Good, good stuff. Just put these on things that need it. We don't do it on that one. Um, and we're going to put in, Oh, we need speed modules actually. So let me grab these, these precious um, bits here. So we'll put 
that in there. Hello? Ah, there we go. And then these guys. Right. Need to grab those. And I'm wondering if we have enough buffer at the moment to run. Yeah, we have enough buffer. I think we have enough buffer to get these guys going and then keep on making the fuel cells or to keep on making the 235. Let's go up and get a couple of speed modules just to make certain. Let's take these. There we go. Just use the level ones for now. And uh, that's going to be fine. Okay, let's go to... Go down here and feed these guys in here. Because this is all we have at the moment. Alright, cool. Alright, so they're feeding it back in. Good, good, good. And does this one share with this one? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's just fine. So it's going to just keep on feeding and um, we'll just keep generating one extra at a time. But uh, this process is also going to make these guys so we don't have to worry and we'll just let that build up as it goes along. Okay. Go back up to our factory and see what else we need to do. All right, so we did add nuclear power. That's done. Good. Um, upgrade stone lines to red and furnaces to steel. That sounds like very good advice. Wow. Look at <laughs> the iron. It is almost non-existent. This is really bad. Um, I think, yeah, we have issues with, probably it's with the, um, with this. Look at this. We have two trains waiting. Uh, this is still not producing enough stuff at all. Wow. What happened here? Some mess going on there. Uh, we could use also some balancing here or something. Uh, that's definitely not ideal. That this is just not balanced properly or whatever. Okay, let's just go ahead and let's get some beacons. And we might want to see what one of these things looks like with a few beacons attached. Now we only have the level 1 speed models. I wonder if we should set up greater module oh my gosh this is horrible this trickling stuff um we could set up the further module makers this is definitely an option kind of tempted to do that maybe over here uh where we can get probably we want to get level three assemblers for this I'm thinking we should get blue belts too okay Let's get these guys. We can just do kind of a simple assembly here with um, let's see one, two, three. Uh, my, maybe something like this where we go with let's see level two speed modules. We want to have a requester and a provider. There we go. And we'll use probably stack inserters, I think, from the requesters anyway. Oh, from the providers, I mean. No, no, no. Come on, dyslexia. Don't, don't do this to me. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just have a regular inserter into the provider. Okay. Um... We'll just limit this to like four stacks maybe for each of these guys okay and we'll have one pole there i'm i am leaving space for beacons here so then we want to go ahead and request these items and we're gonna just say um yeah advanced circuits let's just double this 12 let's see 12 of those all of these, 10 of these, because it's supplying two different um, machines. So that should be okay, I think. Or should we make it even bigger? Maybe we should just double this. Okay, so 24 of these. Oopsies. 
Uh, let's just see. Let's see a cycle of this happen. No, nope, it's still gonna... Okay, let's just do 24. It's really not that huge of an amount. The only thing is, is it's, it is taking up 20 speed modules. But I think it'll be fine. Uh, I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. Alright, let's go ahead and just add another set. Add another set. And possibly another set. Okay, and then I'll have one two, three. Okay, and then these are going to be these guys. Productivity. And instead of these guys, we'll take productivity ones. Okay, and I think we said 20 of them. Okay, uh, and so those are going to get those. Great. Because we're going to need both productivity and speed. Probably we're going to need more speed modules. But it doesn't hurt to have the productivity done as well. I don't know how close I want to get to the bus over here. Probably there's nothing else that we're going to need to put on the bus. So it should be fine. But how are we doing over here? We have... We're just really slow. I think that's the issue at the moment. It's just our robots are too slow. All right, so um, we want to grab this combination again. Just put them over here. One, two, three. Okay, and then we'll just, instead of these, we'll take uh, these. 20. Okay, and then these will take... 20 of these. Alright, and these are going to make level 3s. Uh, are these guys... Yeah, these guys are getting blue and red. Okay, that's right. Alright, and then we'll change these to the level 3s as well. Whoopsies. Got the wrong one entirely there. Okay, cool. Excellent. So these are going pretty well. And these guys can be limited. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll limit these to like a full row. Like that. Actually, what we should do is limit how many exactly are in the system. Instead of doing a full row, we should say we want to limit this to... Um, I think what we need to oh do we do it this way circuit network not connected nope we want to do it here to say connect enable disable if these level threes are less than oh how many do we need are they 50 in a stack hmm if they're less than a thousand, say, then you can work. Okay, and I'll do these here as well, except these are going to be the productivity paste. Okay, and I might, should I do that on these guys as well? I'm not quite sure, instead of just limiting the chest, because it's probably better if we just look at the entire area instead. Okay, where is worker robot speed? There it is. Okay, let's get this. We really need the speed. Yeah, we should probably do this. All right, we'll do the same thing. Okay, well, um, let's just paste this and say if these guys are less than 1K. Okay, that's fine. We'll just manually do this. This is kind of dumb to do the whole blueprint and then do these later, um, but it's okay. Oh, wait, actually, these guys are not that. These are the level two modules. If the level twos, not the level ones. Right? Okay, those are fine. Go ahead, go ahead. And then we have these need to be unlimited. So paste this, this, this. There we go. Yep. Nice. And we can also paste that same thing here. Here and there. Okay, cool. So then we'll do the same thing here. That was kind of silly of me to, um, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Paste this and change this to these level twos. Cool. 
That's one thing I always lament about blueprints. It's like, oh my gosh, I've done done the wrong thing and then copied it six times. I guess I could have just eliminated these things. That would have been okay too. Um, okay, so now we can say with these guys, we want this to work. And let's see, connect. Actually, we'll just paste the same condition if the level ones are less than 1k. Same thing here, less than 1k. Okay, that's right. And you are, yep. Okay, so then we'll make these uh, provider chests here. Make that a provider chest. And we'll just unlimit these entirely. There we go. And we should have module production coming very soon. Okay, worker robot speed three is finished. Let's go and look for four. Yep. So these guys can definitely use some of this. Ah, there we go. Looking very, very good. Now, the thing about it is I can get some beacons going on over here. And hopefully... Okay, there we are. And this one will go here. And I will just drop these guys in here. Cool. And now they're they're going like mad pretty much. What's nice is that this, you know, one beacon will affect six different assemblers. So it's actually more beneficial to put the um, the speed into these guys, uh, even though it's only 50% transmission, it still affects six assemblers. So that's like three full things, uh, having two, uh, modules in there. I suppose we could just do them all anyway, but it is quite beneficial to do that that way. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these guys too. Uh, we need a, I think we need like half as many of these. Okay. So that is half as many right there. Don't need any more than that apparently let me just copy paste some of these modules um let's see we'd probably need this one as well okay like this since they're all in alignment nice okay i'll just take this one good okay so these are they're all happening things are going uh, and of course, we could also speed some up by putting some here as well. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, for the greens, I am going to just put a basic green situation. A green situation. Yes, that's something most interesting. <laughs> I don't even know what a green situation is, but it sounds very curious. Okay, let's put this here. Yes, I want to add a green thing. Um, go ahead and add our boxes here. A provider and a requester. This will be level twos. This will be level threes. Uh, okay, and requester goes there. So the requester is going to request these. It's also going to request five of these or 10 of those. That's just fine. Okay. We'll put in these guys. Actually, we don't need those. We really don't need those. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Looking very, very good. So these need these guys. Let's just go ahead and put these up to 12. Okay. And I think the way we want to do this is we'll say if, um, let's see if these are less than 10, then go. Okay. Then we'll do these guys. We need less than five. Well, we'll just do less than 10. That's fine. That'll be fine. And that will kind of take us into the next area. But I think we're, we're doing pretty well. What are we missing guys? Oh, you know what we're missing? We're missing, um, 
the things going into the network, which is very uh, inconvenient. So what I think we'll do is we need to add chests for these things. Where is the green circuit? Oh, the green circuit is also coming from the world. That's something uh, interesting. So I wonder how I should put these guys down here. I guess I could just do simple pull-offs uh, and just have them in the middle here. We could do like this and we'll have a provider chest right here and we'll have our and this will be limited to like four squares I think I don't think any more than that is necessary and this can go here and do exactly the same thing again like four squares four tiles oopsies let's just put that in line there and we can do the same, same thing right over here. All right, cool. So now we have things properly organized where these guys can now get more of these um, modules made. I think I'm going to request uh, level three speed modules. Um, well, request several. Uh, and also the productivity modules once we get to them. I don't know if we have any made right now, but we hopefully will. So I'm going to put these guys back in the chest here. And those should be fine. And I think we're probably at a good stopping place for right now. Okay, we may need some... We may need an additional robot charging station there. Possibly a third. Uh, so our robots can just get um, charged up and be good. How much electricity are we using now? Let's see. Over time. Wow. No, no. Actually, we're kind of the same. Even after the, um, the funky fall that we had when we were hooking up our other power plants. But it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I still think we're using more electricity because of the various things. But hopefully we're going to get these um, various things done so we can actually get oh my gosh wow we have level three modules this is great so we can get those level three modules distributed to our furnaces because yeah um <laughs> no iron left there is no iron on the lines very bad problem so let's see get worker robot speed go 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 anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time